Well, it is the SNP's night and we can talk now with the winning candidate, John Mason, who's now the MP for Glasgow East and indeed with his boss, the First Minister of Scotland and SNP leader, Alex Salmond. Well, congratulations uh, to, to you, John Mason, first of all. Um, you must have had a few nail-biting moments during that count. Well, uh, it's a tremendous privilege to be serving the people of the East End. And uh, I was confident in the people of the East End that they would make the right choice. So I've not been too nervous about it. When did you know you'd done it? Um, well, I think it became increasingly apparent uh, as the count went on. But obviously there was a recount, so we had to wait for that. Well, listen, I've offered my congratulations. Uh, how about you, Alex Salmond? Uh, would you like to say a few words to your new MP? I certainly would. I mean, John has been a an outstanding candidate. This has been one of the sharpest, the quickest uh, by-elections in political history and we were immensely fortunate to have somebody like John who's held in such high regard in the East End. That gave us a, a, an advantage which uh, it was immeasurable in terms of establishing the campaign's credibility. So congratulations to John and he, like me of course, wants to congratulate the entire campaign team who are just immense in the, in the Scottish National Party. John Mason? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it was a team effort, and Alec is clearly the captain of the team, but there are, there are many, many important players in the SNP team, uh, and I'm extremely grateful to all of them. Well, maybe but, you would uh, want at this stage, was... John Mason, to, to speak directly to, to Alec Salmond and thank him for turning up, what was it, nearly a dozen times to support you? That, that's right, and uh, that uh, confidence of Alec uh, was tremendous. And well, seeing how him. he related, and sorry, you can thank him directly. Yeah. He's listening. Well, well, I can thank him officially. Okay, thank, thank you, Alec, very much for coming. <laughs> but what the point I was going to make was the people of the East End responded so positively to having Alec Salmond out there, and, and that shows the success of the SNP government over the last year. So, was this your victory, Alec Salmond, or John Mason's victory? No, John's the candidate and then John established that platform of credibility, but it's not John's victory or my victory. I think it's a, a victory for the SNP campaign team, for the cause of uh, the SNP and, of course, for the people of Glasgow East. And I think the benefits that will flow from this victory will flow primarily to the people of Glasgow East, but will be have ramifications across the country. Uh, John, you are right, Glenn. I, I've paid 12 visits. I'm just about to pay my 13th uh, visit if uh, John can keep the party going in, in Glasgow East for me. Uh, so the 13th visit might be considered unlucky for some. You're about to get in a fast car. What? Well, I don't know. I, I, listen, the First Minister of Scotland can't break any speed limits, uh, but uh, I'll get there as quick as I can, John, if you, uh, if you save some of the, uh, the lemonade for me. I uh, certainly will do that, yes. You'll be very welcome. The people of East End want to see you in East End. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. You, I'm sporting an East End suntan, incidentally. You, uh, you've uh, pretty much uh, holidayed in uh, the East End over the last couple of weeks. You, you say, though, it's John Mason's result, yet you have, throughout this campaign, Alex Salmon, said that it was a contest between the Scottish Government and the UK Government, between Alex Salmon and Gordon Brown. Well, certainly I said that there had to be a judgment taken by the people, and just as they were judging on the failures of the London government, uh, I said in response to a question, and I acknowledge it, that they would pass judgment on the success of the Scottish government, the SNP government in, in Holyrood. And uh, I mean, I, I know a number of uh, Scottish journalists described that as uh, bold or even foolhardy, and even one or two commentators suggested it wasn't the wisest thing to do. I think it's an inevitable thing to do because this is a unique by-election. This is a by-election fought not just between two candidates, not just between two political parties, but uniquely between two governments. That has never happened before as far as I know in political history and I, I think that gives it additional importance. But the ramifications for this by-election, you just heard John Curtis say there would only be one Labour MP left in Scotland, it would be Tom Clark, so I'm sure he's a relieved man tonight. But everybody else uh, in the Labour ranks, including Gordon Brown, would be getting their jotters and the sort of swing that John Mason has achieved this evening. But uh, what do you think the direct ramifications of this result will be? Uh, Douglas Alexander saying too early to, to, to say what will change, but what do you think will change? Well, that's what Mousy Tung said about the French Revolution. Uh, 
I think Douglas is playing for time. I think, and I've never said throughout this campaign, I don't think we'll see an immediate exit of Gordon Brown from Downing Street. I think he's much more likely to change policy rather than change himself. And the policy that needs to be changed, of course, is on the economy. We need a plan for recovery. We need a plan to stave off recession. And we need action taken, as John Mason said in his victory speech, very rightly, to ease the pressure on household budgets across Glasgow East and across Scotland. That's the action that must come. Uh, from this message being delivered from the, the voters, the people of Scotland, uh, right down to Downing Street. I think it's uh, chucking out time at the count, John Mason, so perhaps we should think about letting you go to your uh, victory celebration. But I, th I think it was chucking out time in Glasgow East, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your victory celebration uh, will obviously be followed by... Uh, your visit to, to Westminster as one of seven SNP MPs. What kind of contribution do you think you can actually make in a, a big parliament with more than 600 members? Yes, well, my experience is speaking out for the people of the East End in Glasgow City Council, which has been very Labour dominated. So there are certain parallels with going to Westminster, and I think my reputation shows that I'm not afraid to speak out against the establishment. OK, well, we'll listen for your maiden speech, John Mason and First Minister Alex Salmond, the SNP leader in Edinburgh. Thank you both very much indeed.